Yo, did you guys see the new update that just came out in Rise of Kingdoms? It only costs $4.99 to attack a barbarian fort. Now let's go, boys. Yeah. Finally, Lilith is listening to the player base. We were just so tired of attacking barb forts for free. All right, guys, in all seriousness, let's talk about this new barbarian fort reward adjustment. And I just got to say, man, Lilith just can't stop taking L's. Lilith just cannot stop making sh updates. They just, they can't help themselves. I don't know what it is. Like there's, there's things like this that are just so obviously bad. Like it, it's, it, it takes two seconds to think about this and be like, oh wait, no, actually that's, that's going to piss everybody off. It's like, I, I don't get it. Right. I don't get it. I, I don't understand. Like maybe the people who develop this, these updates don't play the game or I, I don't know what it is. Like I, I genuinely don't know, but today let's just talk about the barbarian fort reward adjustment. Okay. I love that adjustment. It, oh, we're just tweaking it a little bit. No, you're fucking ruining it. Like you're ruining it. That's literally it. Don't even sugarcoat it. Okay. I'm going to just say this right now. Okay. Lilith is trying to cap the amount of AP that you can get from doing barb forts. So if that sounds like something you are not happy about, there will be a pinned comment down below with a link to the official rise of kingdoms discord. Uh, and there will be suggestions there that you can vote on. Uh, I recommend that you guys go over to the official discord and and vote on suggestions that you think are better than this because this is garbage like this is obviously no one thought this through clearly no one thought it through so that is my number one recommendation before we even go any further okay that is something that you can do right now to make your voice heard I will say though do not harass the moderators do not harass customer support do not harass VIP support that is the quickest way to make sure that they do not listen to you okay and these people that work as mods or in customer support they have no control over day-to-day -day operations of the game okay all they can do is submit your feedback and if your feedback is just cursing at them and doing and death threats then that's not helpful at all so please do not be obnoxious do not be offensive do not be spreading hatred or anything like that okay just go to the official discord and let your voice be heard in a concentrated and understood manner again there will be a link in the pinned comment to a specific suggestion in discord if you guys don't want to go through all of it I, I already have one it's pinned down below so let's start there and I just got to say videos like this one I make videos like this because I have the game's best interest in mind and I have the players best interest in mind however because of videos like this I will probably never be sponsored by rise of kingdoms so the only benefit that I get from shooting myself in the foot with videos like this is your support so please drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps me out a ton okay with the actionable portion of the video out of the way let's actually go over this okay because whenever these updates come out and the reason that this video is delayed right is because I like to play devil's advocate right I like to look at these things and at face value sure this looks horrible but I like to think about like okay well why are they really doing this is there actually a reason that they're doing this that maybe will benefit the players in the long run that maybe we just don't see right now and I've come to the conclusion that there is not a good reason but let's at least go through it together so we can sort of understand what's happening here okay so they say in the interest of maintaining balance we have made the following adjustments to rewards gained by destroying barbarian forts including marauder encampments after destroying a fort all governors who participated in the rally have a higher chance of receiving between 50 and 100 action points that sounds good right that sounds fine to me right now the drop rates for these are pretty low and everybody knows that getting action points is the reason that people grind barbarian forts but they always lead a horrible update with the good stuff first okay obviously the second point says action point recovery items received from normal alliance gifts are now subject to a weekly limit after getting 7,500 action points, you will no longer gain action point recovery items from Alliance chests. So there it is. That's the poison. Okay. That's the part of the update that people are unhappy about. Now, if you guys are wondering for an active Alliance that is constantly grinding forts, 7,500 action points is not good. Okay. Even if they double this amount, there's still going to be many alliances that would be losing out on a ton of action points. Okay. So this is even even doubling this number is going to be too low okay because I, I feel like what Lilith is going to do is as a knee-jerk reaction they're going to say oh okay just kidding we bumped it up to 15,000 that's not enough okay you have to remove the cap 
you, you have to remove the cap or put it somewhere around 30,000. That that's realistically uh that's what it's going to take in order to make this uh, a reasonable update okay so let's just take a step back and, and and think about what are they trying to do here what Lilith is trying to do is reduce the amount of grinding that is required to get action points and honestly that's a good goal okay I think 24 7 barb for grinding is not good for the game that does not respect players time it's not fun it's not an enjoyable activity it's not something people want to do they feel like they have to do it in order to get the most value out of barb forts okay and honestly i don't like grinding barb forts and you know unless we're in kbk and there we're in between passes or something i'm really not going to spend that much time grinding forts okay it's just not a fun activity it just it just isn't okay so i can understand lilith wanting to reduce the amount that players feel that they have to grind in order to get the maximum amount of benefit the problem with their solution here is that it's 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 a five iq play okay there, there was no thought put into this they were just thinking like oh okay well you know we'll make it easier to get action points and then we'll just cap it and we'll call it a day when in reality you have to ask yourself why are players grinding for action points like think about it players are grinding forts for action points and action points in themselves the only thing that they do is enable players to grind again later that's literally all it is okay that's, that's literally all that's happening here okay is a grind to be able to grind at an optimal time players like to hoard action points for specific events or using them in kvk so that way they can gain the most value out of their action points that they're spending okay so you have to ask yourself not not how can we cap action points because people are grinding it too much no no you have to ask yourself why your players grinding for action points that's the real question that's the root problem okay and the reason that players are grinding for action points the reason that players feel that they need to grind for action points is because this game it does not favor free to play players it simply does not there are so few things that you can do as a free to play player to maximize your effectiveness maximize your value maximize the rewards that you get from events okay you only have a handful of things at your disposal if you're not going to spend any money in rise of kingdoms okay and action point grinding is one of the only things that as a free-to-play player you can do to play this game effectively and even try and attempt to compete with the people that are spending a lot of money in this game right you either spend time or you spend money those are the only two things that you can do in rise of kingdoms to gain an advantage so the real solution to this problem is to make action points less valuable by giving players more of what they gain from events action points themselves have to be seen as a less valuable item right you have to reduce the number of reasons and i'm talking about as a developer as a developer of rise of kingdoms you have to reduce the number of reasons why players would need action points we need to get it to a point where grinding forts 24 7 is actually just a waste of time not because there's a cap on it but because the things that you can do with action points are less exciting to free to play players so ways that you can do this are increase the number of rewards that players get for participating in certain events and making the grind time of those events reduced okay so if we look at the 7000 gem event that players really love reduce the amount of points it takes to max out that event it's simple as that if you if it if you cut the amount of grinding it takes for that event in half well then people aren't going to need as much action points to grind barbs during those events because th they'll be able to complete the event in its entirety okay and maybe you give more rewards for that and i know right now lilith is shaking in their boots they're like oh my god give more stuff to free to play what do you mean give more stuff to free to play player are you not happy with the crumbs we've given you thus far no no they're not happy and the the evidence of that is 24 hour barb fort grinding right nobody likes to grind barb forts for 24 hours a day so you have to ask yourself why would people be doing this because they feel like they have to do it to get the rewards to keep themselves competitive that's it so if you really want to cut down on the amount of grinding that people need to do to enjoy your game give them more rewards for less effort 
it's literally that simple and i know what you're thinking you're thinking omni arc okay well if you know if, if i'm a whale and i just spent five thousand dollars on this game and i and i did it so i can max out these commanders and now all these free-to-play players are going to get a bunch of universals and they're going to max them out for free well then i just wasted my money it's like no no because you also have the option of getting that stuff for free don't you see you also will be gaining gaining the benefit if you have time to play the game if you don't that sucks okay but great news there's a million ways that you can spend your money on the game in order to make up that deficit between you and a player who has time to spend i only had to think about this for like five minutes just five minutes to think about is barb fork grinding bad for the game yes obviously it's obviously bad it's not fun it takes a lot of time and it's boring obviously bad for the game you don't want your game to mostly be boring grinds that's not good for the health of the game okay but is putting a cap on that the answer no no because here's the result of this right let's say that lilith goes ahead and they do this regardless despite all the backlash over on discord and everywhere else okay let's say that they go ahead and do this now players will simply spend less time playing rise of kingdoms right that's the direct outcome of this players get less action points in total and they spend less time doing barb forts which means they're just logged into the game less there's really not that much to do in this game during an off season okay if there's not a holiday event and if you're not in kvk there's not that much to do okay you need a reason to log in so the outcome here is that players get less rewards less action points and they spend less time playing the game so you have to ask yourself if you're developing a game and you release an update where it leads to players playing less is that a good update or a bad update and the game devs can answer that question for themselves but everybody knows that if you release an update and it leads to players playing less that's not a good update like that's literally data that's literally data that tells you objectively like oh people are playing less like that's bad that's not good for the game because there's only two ways that people can really objectively show that they like rise of kingdoms there's the time they invest in engaging with the game whether that's playing the game talking in discord communities sharing stuff on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or whatever or spending money those are the only two things that are valuable to Lilith and this update in an attempt to reduce grinding provides no real alternative in terms of value like yeah they're saying oh we'll increase the drop rate but the cap is still the cap this still ultimately leads to less action points gain so the outcome of this update is fewer action points fewer rewards less time playing the game and then the, and then they sit back and wonder why people are freaking out about this it's like again five minutes just think about it for five minutes now one other thing that you can do in response to updates like this is play a different game like straight up at some point it becomes impossible to continue begging the developers to do what's obvious so when they release updates like this try a different game there's a tons of games like rise of kingdoms there's land of empires there's infinity kingdom there's other games in the mobile rts genre that you can try out if rise of kingdoms is continuing to release updates that you don't think are good the competitors to rise of kingdoms are also free you can literally play another game just like rock for free don't keep giving a game your time and effort if every single update they release something that is detrimental to your experience with that being said guys if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see this subscribe to the channel if you're new here and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below your thoughts on this change to the barbarian forts and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace